Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our homepage. homepage. Michelle is going to take you on a brief tour of our course to help get you started. Hey there, I'm Michelle Pekansky Brock, lead PI for this awesome grant project, Scaling Humanized Online Teaching in STEM, which you are now a part of. I want to get you started on the right foot. We know that when you start a new online class, it kind of feels like you're in someone else's house. So we're going to show you around and just point out a few things that we think will help you get a terrific start to week one. Let's start with our home page. This is the best place to start every time you log in the course because it's always going to show you what module we're on. We'll be updating this home page every week when we release a new module. Also, at the top of the home page, get in the habit of checking out the recent announcements to be sure that you haven't missed one. And if you haven't noticed yet, you might be thinking Canvas looks a little different. You are in a student role, and so now you need to get your arms around how to stay on track of your assignments just like your students do. Of course, the meat of the course is in the modules, right? But over here on the right is a very handy dandy to-do list, and you can use that to keep yourself organized each week. You may also like to click on the View Course Calendar link at the top, which will show all of your assignments in a handy calendar view. I love that option. To go back to the home page, use the back button in your browser. Also, take a moment to click on the View Course Stream button in the upper right corner. The course stream shows you important recent activities from our course, including announcements, discussions, assignments, and more. When you're ready to get started with Module 1, just click on the Start button under Step 3. That will take you to the Getting Started module, and you can jump straight into the first page. Below the Getting Started module, you're going to find a Q&A discussion. If you make a post in that discussion, everyone in the entire course will have access to your question and it'll be a great way for you to have some dialogue with your peers. Your facilitators will also monitor that discussion. So when a question comes up about the course, you can put it in the Q&A discussion or reach out to them directly through the Canvas inbox. As you proceed through the Getting Started module, you'll get to a Getting Started quiz. Once you complete that, you will see a green check mark to the right of that quiz and that will unlock Module 1. The last tip we have for you is to look for the Module Overview page at the start of every module. It will set you up for success. It includes a brief video from one of your facilitators, a guiding question to keep in mind throughout the module, and then at the bottom you'll find three tabs, one containing the learning objectives for the module, a tab titled Step 1 Learning Content that will provide links to the pages with your readings and videos, and a tab titled Step 2 Learning Activities. That's the last thing you'll complete in the module. That tab will contain a list of your activities and links to them. Well, that's about all for now, folks. I think you're ready to get started. Have a great week one.